Hey Aquarius, this is your reading for May of 2022. I want to say welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here for a while, that's because I haven't been here for a while. So I've been over on TikTok, having a lot of fun over there. So if you guys are over on TikTok, look me up um, and you'll see I do readings over there as well as other videos talking about spirituality, talking about people on the other side, talking about toxic relationships, everything and anything I talk about over there. If you have questions, it's a perfect place to ask your questions so that I can make a video and respond to you. All right, let's see what is going on. If this is your first time to my channel, I want to say welcome. Um, I am a spiritual um, healer and I am also a psychic medium, so I read these cards intuitively. And I also will bring through the energy healing to go along with the messages that we receive from these cards. So let's see. Wow, what a beautiful middle of the month here. You know, everyone is having this death card pop up in their readings. This is a transition, a transformation that is happening in your life. I've also been talking about the stagnant energy that a lot of people have been feeling kind of just stuck um, in this space and kind of waiting. Like it's a waiting period for a lot of us. And I feel like towards the end of May is really when it's going to start to open up. It's like right in time for the summer, which isn't really the best time for that, but it is whatever time is going to happen. All right, so what do we have going on here? We have the Magician, the Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. So this is about manifestation. So loving this, the Nine of Pentacles is my independent card, Ace of Swords, Internal Triumph, and the Queen of Pentacles. So you are... I really feel as though you are on a journey to manifest what you want, okay? This internal, this Ace of Swords, this is something, a lot of people miss this about manifestation. We think we can put it out there, we think we can just visualize it and it's going to happen. But what happens is your energy, which holds your thoughts, feelings, and emotions, is not actually on the same frequency as to what you're trying to manifest. So therefore, there's a disconnect and it doesn't come in as quickly as you want it to. Now that's kind of what I'm feeling here, but I feel as though you are actually pushing through that. Like you are smart, you know this, and now you're allowing yourself to get yourself on the energetic. This, you know, also has to do with like your beliefs and your self-beliefs, your doubt, your trust, like all of that. When you get that on the right path, and I think like you're taking some time out for yourself here to actually do that, then you start to be able to manifest what you want very, very quickly. Now in the middle of the month, you've got the star, the High Priestess, the Moon, and the King of Cups. So again, I feel like this is a month of connection for you. And it feels as though it's a connection to yourself and it's a connection to your higher self with this High Priestess. This is about your intuition, really allowing yourself to quiet your mind and allow information and guidance to come in, especially with the Star card. So when you, you know, this, I think this is like the, the, um, the catalyst to everything that's about to happen for you, um, this transformation that's at the end of the month. And I feel like it begins with this Ace of Swords. It actually begins with the Magician card of you knowing what you want, very, getting very clear on that. And I think that's really what's happening to a lot of us in this world right now is we're looking for something different. We're looking for something that is gonna bring us more peace. We're looking for something that is going to fulfill us more. And so it starts with like a goal and then the internal stuff, right? Healing, letting go of stuff from the past, and then connection. So that you're going on this journey in the month of May to find yourself, change your life into the way that you want it. Now, it could happen around the full moon. Um, you know, any moon, really, they're all on this card. <laughs> but I think as though as you do that, you're going to start to change the way that you're thinking and also the way that you're feeling and things aren't going to seem so serious. You aren't going to have so much stress and some, so much pressure. You're going to let go of anxiety is what I'm feeling. And at the end of the month, this is when that transition comes in. This is when something ends and then something begins. Um, I'm really feeling like something growing out of the grass, like growing out of the dirt. So it might get muddy. It might get bare before it starts to grow again. And that's what a lot of people like hitting rock bottom and then building it up. And that's kind of like a tower card where everything falls apart. You've got the justice card with the page of wands and the eight of cups. So this is telling me here that this transformation is exactly what you deserve. And, you know, even if it doesn't feel like it in the beginning, especially if we have to hit rock bottom before we build ourselves up, it's about knowing that you deserve better. 
And in order to get better, you might have to rebuild. This would be like if you were in a relationship and you have to get a divorce or you have to break up in order to actually rebuild your life because what you're living right now is actually bringing you down rather than lifting you up. And it's about giving yourself an opportunity to go towards something better. So definitely a beautiful transformation here in all areas of your life is what I'm getting, especially with this high priestess, connecting back to yourself and creating the life that you actually want, not the one that you've already created. Okay, there's your, your needs and wants are changing. And you're ready. You're like ready for something new here. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get into some energy work around this. If you have not done energy work before, it is the very thing we're made of. I wrote a book about it called It's Not You, It's Your Energy, because our energy holds our thoughts, feelings, and emotions, and it causes chaos in our life. So what we're going to do here today is we're going to connect the universal energy, which is God, divine, whoever you believe in, uh, with your energy in order to release any blockages or trapped emotions. And really kind of, you know, I always kind of pick these cards as to what we're going to be working with today. And I'm definitely going to pick this death card and I want to pick this high priestess and the star and kind of like put them on both sides of this death card. And we're going to bring the magician down. So we're going to allow you to let go of the past in order to really kind of let your light shine out, like let you, who you are shine up and come out of the closet here. And the magician card here is really kind of allowing you to manifest. I just, I love all these cards. We're just going to take them all. <laughs> and the Ace of Swords is just like a brand new beginning. You know, you have the death card. So there's endings and beginnings. And I think the beginning is going to be so much better than what you have been working with. So we're really going to kind of just connect to the higher self, I believe, right now. And just allow yourself to know that it's possible and to... Um, to be able to connect to that, to see and envision what life will be like when you get there. Okay. All you're going to do is just listen to some music and I am going to do that. You can close your eyes if you choose to and we will get going here. Okay. So go ahead and close your eyes if you want and then take a deep breath in and let it out. Just relaxing your body here. And then take another deep breath in. And I'm going to pull some more cards through this. So you want to stay tuned and see the messages. And go ahead and let that breath out. Okay, whatever thoughts come in, just let them come in and let them flow out. Here we go.
Go ahead and take a deep breath in and let it out. And take another deep breath in and then go ahead and let that out and you can open your eyes if you have them shut. All right, so go ahead and give me a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed the energy healing. And then also the card that we pulled here is the Four of Wands, which is communication. So make sure that you're communicating to other people about this, but also they're showing me a notebook, so journaling as well. So I think journaling, a lot of people resist journaling, but I believe that when you put your, when you put your pen to a paper, things will come out of your mind that we don't just think, right? And you're putting it on paper, so it's making it tangible, and it does something to your um, subconscious that allows things to just flow, okay? And there's also automatic writing when you are like um, channeling stuff from spirit guides too. If you've ever done that, I, I, I advise you to get back to that and kind of a letting, the, letting these messages come through as well, especially with this high priestess card. So communication is key. You've got the seven of wands and I'm gonna say here and the hangman, I'm getting the message with this card here is that you've gotta protect yourself. You have to protect your energy and your mind. Okay, this hangman is a change of perspective, thinking things a different way, looking at things in a different way. And I feel as though there's people around you that are constantly trying to bring you down or trying to get you to change the way you think. And, you know, we are a product of our environment. So it's time to really be protective. And the, this change of perspective, though, I really feel as though. You know, a lot of people, when we try to set boundaries or we try to let people go out of our lives, we feel selfish about it. We feel like we're going to hurt them or we feel selfish that, you know, um, we that we want to be happy and that we have to let people go. We feel selfish about that. And I feel like that's the change of perspective here is about letting the people go that lower your vibration on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, letting them go. Or if you can't let them go is to protect yourself around them. Okay, there's a deep energy clearing on this channel if you feel like you take on other people's energy. If, and the one thing that I teach is that if you catch yourself saying, I don't know why I feel like this, it's usually because you have somebody else's energy on you. It's not yours. And again, remember, it holds our thoughts, feelings, and emotions. So you might be feeling their emotions um, and not yours. And that's why it doesn't really make sense to you. So that is the message I have for you. Really, you know, dive down deep into yourself and really figure out what you want in this life. I feel like you already have done that. And just keep connecting to your intuition, um, you know, and keep allowing yourself to shine yourself, your light, shine who you are, show it to the world, and allow yourself to move towards something better because it is on its way. And, you know, you have a lot of major arcanas here. So you've got, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven major arcanas here, which means that this is big life-changing stuff. So allow it in is what I'm going to say. Don't resist it. Allow it in. All right. I hope that makes sense to you. I have a free three-day heal your childhood trauma if that is something that you are interested in and know that you need to heal your past without uh, years of therapy. You can find that in the description box below. You can join me. We start May 9th for our childhood trauma um, challenge. Also, uh, hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification to get notified when I do have new videos coming out. And let me know in the comments, what do you guys want me to do? Is it more energy healings? You want more tarot? And if so, what kind? What subjects do you want me to teach? And I'm going to be showing up more and giving you some great content. All right. I'm sending you so much love. Take care. Bye.